By default, PowerFlex drives are set up for 0 to 10 volt DC analog control. In this video, I'll show you how to set up PowerFlex drives to receive a 4 to 20 milliamp analog signal to control the speed of a motor. For this demonstration, we'll be using a PowerFlex 525 and a PowerFlex 755 TS as well as a signal generator to mimic an analog signal from a PLC. For the 525, we'll start by moving jumper J10 to the 4 to 20 milliamp position. Next, wire to terminals 14 and 15 as shown here. Lastly, change parameter 47, which is our speed reference, to 4 to 20 milliamp input. This can be done in CCW or on the faceplate. Now that we're set up, we'll start the drive with a 4 milliamp input, and you'll notice the output frequency of the drive is zero hertz. As we increase the input to 12 milliamps, the output frequency is now at 30 hertz. Finally, we'll increase our input to 20 milliamps, and as you can see, we're now outputting 60 hertz. For the 755 TS drive, you'll need an I.O. option module. In this video, we're using a 20-750-2262C-2R located in port 5 of the drive. The first thing to do is to set the jumpers to current mode then wire to terminals analog N0 minus and analog N0 plus as shown. Next, we'll change parameter 1800 or velocity reference A select to port 5 colon 50, which is analog input zero value. Then set the analog input low and high values, which will be four to 20 milliamps respectively. We're now ready to control the drive's output with the signal generator. Just like before, we'll start at four milliamps, then 12, and finally 20. As you can see, the drive responds accordingly. Additional resources can be found in the manuals for each drive. A link to each will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your local ES&E account manager or automation specialist.